new faculty, myself uh, and also Dr. Scott Wood, uh, we were attracted here by the opportunity to work through the BioCenter grants. It's not just teaching, we are actually doing research and teaching. I got into the school in fall 2015 and um, I got very good uh, support and uh, the moral support, everything from the professors over here in the school. So one of the, the primary uses of the lattice light sheet microscope is, I like to think of it as confocal micro microscopy on steroids. It allows us to actually observe living cells without damaging them. So we can watch them in, as they're actually doing something. One thing that people are very interested in is what's called endocytosis. It's the ability of cells to pull things into the cell. And one of those projects that we're working on is to observe the endocytosis of what's called nanocellulose or cellulose fibers to understand how cells can actually process those fibers. This lab is divided basically into cell culture and the optics lab, both funded by the EPSCOR and the NSF. So we have good infrastructure over here. If you see, this is the flimfret microscope, which mainly uh, helps to measure the intracellular forces, interactions in the proteins and everything. They have made it very strong, the nanoscience in, and engineering in PhD. So it's like um, establishing or extending its wings over the bio nanotechnology side by the collaborations here. People are trying to do actual product development using our capabilities for research. One of them is a company called Mastel Precision Instruments is interested in chemical sensors to detect what's called dry eye. And through one of the BioCenter C grants, we're actually developing a sensor to do that. Mm -hmm. 